Welcome back, heroes, to some more Pokemon Ken Laura Ultimate Not Adventures. If you caught last episode, I explained how the uh, recorder went a little bit bad and we had to start a new game, so I went with Ken Laura Ultimate instead because it's a bit more uh, better of experience playing this game than uh, Ken Laura Adventures. Anyway, last episode we made our way to uh, Sunside City where Team Aqua live and they're good guys now. Uh, we helped Archie and the Sage settle down Koga. We caught it. Not going to use it though because it's uh, a little bit OP. But now we're going to take on Archie to get the 7th gym badge and then make our way to Sanjara City. So we can uh, head towards the Sea Temple to help one of these sages out because um, apparently some bad stuff's going down, which we'll find out a little bit later on. But this gym should, should be pretty easy. I mean, not with a mighty Eno. I was hoping it all have um, water type so we can just Thunderbolt everything. But, I mean, that was kind of easy. <laughs> so far, so good. Hold it, Challenger. Alright. Okay, level 46. I feel like we're a little bit OP. But it's not entirely my fault. Because obviously I got all my Pokemon to the level that they were at the end of part 8 or part 9. No, part 8. No, yeah, part 9. Yeah, part 9. Uh, after we defeated Steven, because obviously that was incredibly difficult. But Canlara Ultimate's a little bit more easier than Canlara Adventures. So um, obviously the levels have been turned down a little bit. So now we're um, a little bit OP. I'll quickly go to do a quick rundown of the team so you guys can see what we're working with in case you missed last episode because the team is very very different. So we have no longer have the demon Pikachu, we have the normal Pikachu. Um, in this game the Ash Hat Pikachu is actually a normal Pikachu but when you use the demon gem on it to evolve it, it turns into something completely different. So once we get the demon gem or another one, we can turn our Pikachu into a demon Pikachu which will have levitate and it holds a balloon, it's pretty cool. So we've got demon Porygon which I uh, haven't tested out yet but hopefully it's pretty good. It's got um, Trace and it's got Psychic, Demon, Pulse, Tri-Attack and Agility. Got our two cannon. could not find a combi so I settled with a uh, two cannon instead. Got our Charizard because you get a starter Pokemon in this game and uh, we're going to turn it into a Demon Charizard once we get the chance. Got Aegislash because again I just fought Chandelure. It was a lot of trouble to go through and Aegislash has actually been working pretty well. And lastly Wooper who is not actually part of the team, he's just our Surf Slave because we still need to find a sixth team member. I don't know who we're going to get. But let's quickly heal up, and then we'll take on Archie. Do I have any potions? I don't think I do. But with that said, I think we should be fine. So we meet again. Back in Hoenn, Team Aqua was a feared organization, fighting for the right for the sea to prevail. Admittedly, we went a bit too far and almost caused a downfall of the entire region. But have we since reformed? And now, I, Archie, will show you the fear that the people in Hoenn experienced when they met me. Uh, I don't think I was ever scared of you. I thought... The only time I thought Archie was ever cool was um, when you first meet him in Slateport and like Oraz when he's got that cool new outfit and he's just kind of walking like bowling towards you. I thought Archie was so cool and that was like the most I ever, I wouldn't say fear, but the closest, you know. Anyway, let's go for a Thunderbolt. This gym battle should be fairly easy. Just like I said, Thunderbolt everything. Alright, level 54. If we had Thunder right now, that'd be so nice. Because the rain's up, won't miss a single attack. And there we go, that's two down. Level 60, boy. Oh, a Demon Gyarados? Oh, snap, okay. Ooh, that's scary. Don't have the red eyes, but... Let's go for a Thunderbolt. Hopefully you're still weak to electric. You should be probably Demon Water, or Demon Flying. Oh, he just lives. Got the paralysis though, come on, get paralyzed, get paralyzed. Okay, Raging Storm, we're so dead. Okay. And your defense harshly fell. Ooh, everything drops for you. I want to see if Demon's weak against Demon. Not too sure, but Demon Porygon versus uh, Demon Gyarados. Right. Demon Pulse, and you're gonna full restore. That's great. Is super effective. <laughs> Excellent. And last Pokemon's a Lantern. Alright, Demon Pulse again. Ouch. My Demon Porygon. Dude, this thing's actually quite a monster. Oh hey, let's go boy. That was easy. You're indeed worthy of this. Oh, 5,500 Poké Dollars? Great. Carry this pouch with you wherever you go. We got the Aqua Badge. Alright. Uh, gives you a boost to your Pokemon special attack and special events. Additionally, you can now use the HM Waterfall outside of battle. 
I suppose you don't have a copy, so I'll make sure you get one of those. Okay. There you go, that's how you get Waterfall. With Waterfall, you can get to some places you couldn't get to before. If you've seen a Waterfall somewhere, make sure to head back there and see what's up. Okay, I'm pretty sure that might be a hint to um, the little island we saw last episode. Because you can Waterfall up there, but it leads to nothing. So I'm thinking maybe now that we've... Oh, can't, can't let me get in. There you go. <laughs> now that we can uh, go up the Waterfall, maybe something might appear there. So let's go and do that. And before we go, let me quickly go and buy a few things. I uh, need some Hyper Potions. 15 will do. And get some revives. Oh. 13 will do. And now we're poor. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. Because in Kalar Adventures, before I had to uh, start a new game. Oh, dude, I was so rich. So rich. Alright, let's pop a repel. Repel time and make our way across. I hope Wooper can learn um, Waterfall. Don't see why not. Right, there's got to be something up here. Yes, he can. Great. Right, what is up here? Happy Island. I get just happinis everywhere. Oh, I've got to wait for the repel to end, haven't I? There you go. Oh, chances. Ooh. It's like a, oh, it's a good place to grind. Because, yeah, it's just chances. Alright, cool. If you need to grind, then this is a perfect spot. And I just realized I am now asleep. <laughs> it's fine. We're making our way to Sanjara City. Let me go explore that bad boy out. And super repel. Okay, cool. We shouldn't get into any trouble now. There might be a few trains that I missed. Oh, it's gonna go past them all though. Because we're a little bit OP at the moment. Don't want to fight too many guys. Alright, come on, wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Hey, oh, huh, self in confusion. Great, wake up. Or not, wake up. Confusion. Sweet. Polyrath, snap out of it. Oh, you put me back to sleep? Dude, you're the worst kind of person. Worst kind of person. Like we've got psychic. There you go. Ah, right. Sanjara City. What can we do around here? Yo, what up, man? You've really got to extensively search every area you come across. As I found my trusted partner, Rally Camp, just outside of Sun Sunside City. Eh, don't really want to Rally Camp, but there's a uh, gym here. So we've got the eighth gym badge. Need a question mark? Okay. I wonder who the gym leader is going to be. I have absolutely no idea. Welcome to Sanjara City. Although Sanjara is more of an island nowadays, the city part just kind of got changed. Fair enough. And we got Salic. What's a Salic Berry? Uh, raises the speed stat in a pinch. Okay. Sanjara is closer to Johto than any other place in Kanalara. As a result, exotic Pokemon such as Corsola can be found here. Cool. Yo, what up? Our new gym leader came sailing in on a scuffed hobby, scuffed hobby boat all the way from Hoenn. Straight up felt like a scene from Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, Kanjara City um, isn't too far from here. In fact, it's a short trip south from Kanjara Woods, which takes you directly to Ken Kenja City. Okay. So Dragon Expert's house. Okay. Yo, what up, Dragon Expert? What have you got for me? Do you know much about the Sea Swan Tower? I don't. Well, there's an old tower located just to the southeast of this island. If you plan on visiting it, come back to me after you've done your deeds. Okay, what deeds? I want to go to the uh, the island. <laughs> I'm the Pokemon Move Maniac. Okay. Uh, you want mushrooms? I don't have any mushrooms. My son can force your Pokemon to relearn an old move it once knew. Kind of nifty, don't you think? Or oh, don't you funk, she said. Don't you funk? Uh, sure. I would go to the gym in a second, I guess. Anything to really do. Uh, the Sea Swarm Tower is an ancient tower built to accommodate tired sailors on the seas. You can see its silhouette all the way from here. Where do we go to the... How do you get to the Sea Temple? Because didn't the um, Sage say it was east of, um, east of here? And this is just like a little island that's trapped in. Okay. Well, let's go get the 8th Gym Badge. I wonder who the Gym Leader is going to be. And the door is firmly shut. Okay, we're not going to find out just yet. <laughs> 
So let's make our way down, I guess, like down than east. Grand Ocean. Yo, what up? Now that I'm not asleep, I can just Thunderbolt everything. And your Lucario, okay. Well, I, and a binocular. I was not expecting these Pokemon, if I'm honest. Right. Still can't go east. Let's pop another repel. I'm not too sure where I'm going. Like, I know I need to go to the Sea Temple. Also got this, like, Dragon Temple I kind of want to go to as well. It's just... It's got to be, like, from here, surely. Okay, this is Sea Spawn Path. Oh, Team Rocket here, so I'm guessing this is the way. Uh... Yeah, we're guarding the entrance to the uh, Sea Swan Tower. In no way am I letting you past. Uh, you can try, but boy, I can just thunder. Oh, never mind. As I thunderbolt your whole team, but damn, you live at like one HP. That's crazy. Oh, they're a little bit too strong. A little bit too strong. Say, like, are you weak to Demon Pulse? Please say you are. Woohoo! Demon Pulse is so OP. Like, we could just probably Demon Pulse like everything now. Make our way through the whole game. Just keep training up this uh, this Porygon. Oh, A doesn't affect us. Nice. Let's keep it going. Claudia is my waifu. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure who Claudia is. I don't remember. Wait, that's not the um the lady that was like in love with Giovanni, is it? Oh, dude. Um, got a switch, haven't I? Charizard. Flame Thrower. A. Hey. Oh look, it's our rival, Hayden. Claudia is the meaning of our existence. It's gotta be, yeah. The lady I'm thinking of. Demon Pulse is so good. I might really go heal up after this though, because we've lost Pikachu and yeah, a little bit weak. So I'll see you guys back in a sec. Alright, we're back, nice and healthy. Yo, what up, Hayden? Uh, Hayden speaks with a distorted voice. Voltsy, what are you doing here? What do you mean? There's nothing wrong with me. I just joined Team Rocket, that's all. You have it all wrong. I joined Team Rocket on my own will. After all, Team Rocket gives you purpose. What were we doing earlier? Just running around for no reason playing heroes? Pathetic. I'll show you the true power of Team Rocket right here and now. Bring it, Voltsy. Alright. Bring it on. I think this is our first battle with Hayden, isn't it? The whole game. He's got a full team. Okay. And he's got a Tyrannosaur. That's a little scary. Um... Let's go Fee real quick. Ow. Go for a nice Iron Head. Got the Flinch as well, which is great. Come on, Flinch, flinch him one more time. Flame for Oof. No, we're fine. That's that's good. And you're going to Forest Door. That's not... Right, I'm going to heal up. Because I want to go for a... That crit actually kind of hurt. Sword Dance. Alright, and we're going to heal up again. And Swords Dance again. Heal up once more. Now it's time to destroy you, Iron Head. Should finish you off, nice. Got Entei, what? Dude, I'm going to stay in just because of Sword Dances. Flare Blitz, I'm probably dead. Yeah, okay, that was a bad idea. <laughs> I just thought maybe we could live. Uh, let's go for Drill Peck. Oh, my two cannon. Oh, you got Stone Edge as well. This Entei. Dude. Our rival's actually pretty, pretty tough. You got Suicune. I'm guessing you have Raikou as well. Um, I have to go Porygon. Go for that lovely Demon Pulse. Calm mind. Okay, it's fine. Dude, I can't believe you got like Entei and Suicune. And that does like nothing. Just because I come like oh critical hit, let's go. Woo hoo! Got Delta Typhlosion. Oh, s oh, not Delta. Sorry, um, Demon Typhlosion. Oh, that's cool. Ooh, dude, that looks sinister. It's just a sprite from like you know Gen Two days, I think. Right? I think so. And super effective. Great. Uh, it's gonna be tough. Let's go for a Thunderbolt. Oh, dude, he's gonna demon pulse me like I, like what I did to everyone. He's been doing to me. I can't ask me this demon typhlosion is pretty, pretty scary. Right. Um. 
Let's max revive. Digimon. Dude, this, why are you so tough? Does it lower your special attack or raises? I'm pretty sure I saw a raise. Yeah, dude, this gets strong. It's such a strong attack, and it gets stronger and stronger. Dude, what? All right, the only way I, know, I think I can beat this is if I maybe max five you try and get a draw pack off. That Dawn's Blaze is just so tough, though. Dude, I can't beat that. It's so powerful. All right, so we're back onto the Demon Typhlosion, which just has been destroying me multiple times. I've got plenty of Sword Dancers up, so hopefully a Shadow Sneak can do a lot of damage. Go on, go on, go on, go on. A over half. That'll take us out. Now if we can just, I don't know, two cannon. Please just outspeed it. One drill pet should finish it off. Nice. All right. He's still got the Suicune and I guess Raikou left. Yeah, it's a Suicune. Let's go Pikachu. He's got one more Pokemon after that. Nice, what you got next? Garchomp, okay. Uh, maybe we can take out Garchomp with this. For Dragon Pulse. Nice, one more. I said Dragon Pulse, sorry, Demon Pulse. Oh, we missed the Demon Pulse, seriously? Oh, dude, that actually sucks. That Demon Pulse just... Missed it, oh wow, we missed again? Can we like just land one attack? They oh, there you go, finally beat it. And Raikou, we can just go with Charizard and just uh, flamethrower. And one more flamethrower should do. There you go. Whoo! He was difficult. This can't be. Or can it? I'm feeling dizzy. Falls to the ground, seemingly unconscious. Sir, are you okay? We'll get him out of here. Oh, okay. Sea Swan Tower. Okay. What's this? Escape rope, hey. Yo, yeah, what up, dude? Claudia is doing something important at the top of the tower. Can't let you pass. Uh, we'll see about that. Let's draw pack and heat wave. I probably should go and heal up. A little bit weak, ow. I'm glad you missed. Right, so we're getting a lot of XP. Yo, don't even uh, think about taking those stairs. Yo, don't even think about trying to stop me. Although, I feel like you probably could. <laughs> Is going. Oh wow, Whooper. Yeah, Whooper, let's go, boy. You got this. Look what that XP is going to get. <laughs> yeah, she managed to get a water gun off. That's kind of funny. <laughs> oh, dude. All right, what's this? We got Team Fetty Shadow Ball. Oh, dude. If we still had Chandelure, would have been fantastic right now. Finally. It would have taken us to episode 11 to get Chandelure, like, any decent. <laughs> decent well, at least, like, one decent, or well, two decent moves. Will-O-Wisp is still really good. Right, let's uh, draw pack and heat wave. Nice. Ooh. Oh, these 2v2s are like just going in our favor so well. Team Rocket is forever. And... Play pro. <laughs> One shot and it's forever, dude. Ooh. I'm not going to battle Claudia without healing up though because I feel like she would absolutely wreck me. And we got PP up. I feel like we must be able to find another demon gem in here, surely. Oh, ghost. Can I capture this? I just want to see if I could. No, you can't. Get out. Get out. Uh, I think we should be able to win this battle slightly. Oh, this is fine. This is fine. Hey, oh man. Two cannon like Charizard make up. Great combo pair, not, not gonna lie, they're actually doing pretty good work. Pretty good work. Alright, let's draw peg you and then flame throw. Hope we're doing hit with static, that would suck. And they're getting some decent levels. Nice. Nice. And last one, draw peg. Oh, we're running low on PP as well. Gotta be super careful. We've got plenty of like fire moves to charge, like at least got like, heat wave and flamethrower. Not the worst thing. Oh, nice. Noctail comes in and gets absolutely wrecked. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. Oh, 
Oh wow, there's actually a lot of Team Rocket Grunts in here. On the bright side, we're doing great. Might get level 70 soon. Which I am totally okay with, and hopefully it's not as much as I thought it would, but okay. Got a lot of money as well, which is definitely needed. We can just get off a drill pack, that would be absolutely fab. But I don't think we're gonna wake by the time yeah we die. Okay, still fine, still fine. We've got this. Yeah, I should probably go heal up. Yeah. Alright, I'll see you guys back in a sec on this floor, and then we'll go take everyone else out with our fully healed team. Alright, we're back fully healed. Uh, I want to lead off... No, these two will do. I mean, two cannon charges are doing such a good, like, good, you know, teamwork. I thought, I'm going to keep them out, but, I mean, these two should do just as well, to be fair. I'm going to psychic everything with Digimon here. Yo! I'm going to take all the grunts out, just for the XP. I think that would be great, and okay. Uh, you had to just live a little bit, didn't you? Iron Head and then Psychic. I think it's Fairy Type, yeah. Sweet. Because uh, Fairy Type wasn't in Canlar Adventures, but it's in Canlar Ultimate. Which is awesome. Okay, we've got to be near the top, surely. Oh, not a double battle. Fair enough. Got so many uh, sword dancers up now. Might as well just stay in and just destroy this dude. Whew. What was up? This way then. All these ghosts, I'm up for repel. I don't know if like repel would stop the ghosts. I mean, it's worth a try. Oh, and we got a full restore, which is actually not bad. I think repels actually do stop the ghosts. So many Team Rocket grunts, but you know what? I don't mind. Not one bit. Because how tough that Demon Typhlosion was, it makes. Like, I'm a bit over leveled to like all the other grunts, but that Demon Typhlosion was so tough, and from the look of it, we're gonna have to fight our rival again. Alright, another Iron Head, a level 67, and Hippowdon. One, two, a lot more attacks. <laughs> I was gonna say one more Iron Head, nope, two more Iron Heads, nope, a lot more attacks. We're near the top, oh my god, I still got loads to go. Alright, next grunt. Yo, this place, what is the mean of it? I don't know, dude. You tell me. You only have one Star Raptor, which is good, and I have no PP left, which is bad. Alright, let's get healed up because I desperately need it. Get to lead off. I'm gonna lead off with like two cannon and Charizard because they were just the dynamic duo, man. They were killing it. Although it seems like there might not be any more double battles, which is. A shame. I was enjoying the double battles, man. Ah, oh, cleanse like I keep holding my breath for like a demon, um, a demon gem. Sacred Ash, okay. I want a demon gem, I want to evolve Pikachu or Charizard. At the rate of this, I'm probably going to go for Charizard more, because Charizard's just been... Just been I can just check the comments of the last episode and see if you guys have voted. Let's ask you guys, you know, what do you, what do you want to see first, Charizard or Pikachu? And I'm, I'm guessing it's likely going to be Pikachu. At least we're back to the double battles though, because I love the double battles. I bet you can have Sturdy, aren't you? No, you don't! Sweet! Oh, Umbreon's gonna get wrecked. Alright, let's keep it going, man. They do not stand a chance. Swagger, okay, it's fine. No, we can get it. Oh, no, you will get it. Okay. I've got two cannons spare Charizard. Last trainer, I see. You're the one the other grunts have been talking about. It's time to up the stakes then. You'll not make it past me. Uh, we'll see about that. Uh, if this is up in the stakes, then I'm not too worried. Oh, actually, a little bit. <laughs> Flip these around. Nice. This is more like it. Drill peck. Heracross will get absolutely shredded. There you go. That was easy. <laughs> All right. Let's find this Claudia woman then, shall we? Oh, hmm. Here's Claudia. You must be the one they've been uh, telling me about. The brave heroes that's knocking out grunts left and right. I must say, I'm impressed you made it this far. Unfortunately, you're too late. 
already wiped out your sage friends. Isn't it funny? They thought they had a chance. Well, me and my newly found buddy already finished up what we came for. Isn't that right, Drake? Ah, yes. Mr. Ray Ray and I are going to have some fun. Doesn't time fly when you have fun? You need to get over to the Pokemon League. Once I'm, once I'm the Pokemon League Master of Kanlara, no one will be able to stop me from fulfilling my dreams. I'll let the two of you become very good friends, and I'll make my way out of here. I do. Oh, so Claudia's going to be the, uh, the League Champ. That's pretty cool. My name is Drake. I'm the Dragon Legend of Ho Hoenn. I sailed over to Kanlara to discover more about the world. Little did I know that the answer to all my questions lied within Team Rocket, so I joined them. I also happen to be the Sanjara City Gym Leader. Well, I won't be going back to the gym now that I work for Team Rocket. So, we will have a battle now. If you defeat me, you'll get the 8th badge. Give it your all. Okay. There's the gym battle now. I was expecting it, like him to probably break, snap out of it, be a bit stronger at the uh, Sanjara City Gym. But okay. Right, so I wonder how she's controlling like uh, our rival and Drake here. I'm, I'm guessing Deoxys has something to do with it. Uh, Dragonite. Let's go for a drill pick. Really wish we'd like an. Oh wow! Oh wow! Two cannon. Jesus. That was actually pretty sick. <laughs> um, that's what I was saying. Oh, yeah, I wish we'd like an ice type or something to deal with Drake here. But if two cannons are gonna just one shot a Dragonite, then hell yeah! You're doing good, man. Nasty plot. Okay, can you live a demon pulse though? That is the question. Go on, go on, go on. Ooh, close. Stone Edge, okay, that's fine. Demon Pulse, too good! And Altaria, okay. Keep it coming, man. Dragon Dance. Just gonna go for another Demon Pulse. And, ooh, so close, dude. Go for a Tri Attack, just to finish you off. Let's go, boy. Drake, you don't stand a chance, dude. Garchomp already beat a Garchomp on the way in here. What makes you think you are? What makes you think your Garchomp's gonna beat me? Probably an outrage. That's probably gonna be it. But I have a two cannon, which is actually amazing with draw pack. I never use like two cannon. Like if you've been watching the uh, the Uranium versus, I've been doing blood juice. I'm not a big fan of two cannon. I said, but after using it now, I'm not gonna lie. I'm actually kind of digging it. It's actually pretty good. Ooh, just living the outrage and there we go. Damn, two cannon is a monster! My head. Hey, is he gonna snap out of it? I feel like I'm gonna faint. Take these, fast! Hey, got the badge. Do we... Okay, got TMO2. With that badge, you can challenge the Elite Four, aka the Pokemon League. Someone as strong as you should aim for the very top. Have to go before I faint. Goodbye. Hey, see ya. Oh man, where are the demon gems at? Level 94! Ooh, yeah, let's run away. Let's definitely run away. Let's use the escape rope we just got. I already have one, like, anyway, so it's all good. Okay. So, now we can head to the Pokemon League. I do want to quickly explore a little bit, though. Just because, like, we could go up here. Which is a dead end. We can go down here, which, uh... Ooh. And a red candy, nice. Iceborn cave, ooh. Well, if you want... I've been... No, I haven't been here. Ooh, okay. Can I learn Draco Media? No, they can't. If you want, like, an ice-type Pokemon, this is... Just an Arcuno chilling here. Okay. And never more ice. Sick. Uh, I'm not going to get you just yet, though, but if you want Articuno to help out with Drake, then this is definitely the place to go. Oh, where does this even... Is this like a dead end now? Yeah. Okay. So let's fly back to Sanjara City, which is here. So this has got the Sea Worn Tower. They said the Sea Temple in um, Sunside City last episode, but I'm assuming the Sea Temple means the Sea... Seas, uh, seas Worn or Sea Sworn Tower. So I guess the next episode we probably just fly to um, Sunside City, head south to Rainy Path and go down to Destiny Path and yeah, next episode we'll probably go do the uh, Victory Road. 
end of Kenlora. Okay. Yeah. So next episode, we're basically doing Victory Road. Nice. All right. Oh, I should really probably fly to Sanjara to end the episode off so I can get nice and healed up. Ah, oh, dude. This ROM hack's quite short, but I'm not going to lie, it's very good. <laughs> I do, do enjoy it a lot. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys next time where we'll be doing Destiny Path. Peace.